simple interest on the sum A at 11% per annum and compound interest on sum B which is 400 more than A in 2 years is 140% more of simple interest of A. Find the value of A. So basically he is talking about two cases here. Case 1 where we are measuring simple interest on sum A at 11% per annum for 2 years. I am assuming 2 years is common for both the cases. And in case 2 we are talking about uh, compound interest on sum B which is 400 more than sum A in same 2 years. And this compound interest is 140% more of simple interest. So find the value of A. So it is like this SI on A at 11% for 2 years. CI on A plus 400 because I mean it is actually on B which is 400 more than A at same 11 percentage which we have to consider in same 2 years and then he says CI is 140 percent more than SI. CI is 140 percent more of SI. So SI plus 140 percentage of SI. So which is basically 240 percentage of SI right. Simple uh, compound interest is 140 percentage more of simple interest. So it should be more than I mean more of doesn't make sense I am assuming it should be more than simple interest. So uh, the compound interest is 140 percentage more than simple interest. So simple interest plus 140 percentage of simple interest. Yeah. Solve this now. How do you do? See what will be the simple interest? Very easy. From this I can say SI is equal to you know that for 2 years at 11 percentage simple interest will be 22 percentage. 22 percentage of what? 22 percentage of A. That is a simple interest case. What is the compound interest? You have to go for effective percentage formula. I mean these things have been discussed in our video so I am not discussing the basics again but the point is simple interest is going to be 22 percentage of uh, the principal compound interest will be a plus b plus a b by 100 I mean that formula has to be used, right a plus b plus a b by 100 right so do that a plus b plus a b by 100 so 20 a plus b plus a b by 100 will be 23.21 percentage of a plus 400 I think a couple of you have mentioned that this is from your IBPSPO 2017 exam so interesting I am sure I mean exciting for all of you because we are solving something which was very recently asked in your bank exam. So simple interest is going to be 22 percentage of the principal amount 11 percentage for 2 years. Compound interest 23.21. How did we arrive at 23.21? 11 plus 11 plus 11 into 11 by 100. You know A plus B plus AB by 100. So 22 and this is 1.21 23.21. 23.21 percentage of the principal in this case is A plus 400. Now substitute these two and find out solve for A. What happens? 22. 3.21 percentage of a plus 400 equals to see si plus 140 percent of si can be taken as 240 percentage of si this si is nothing but 100 percentage 100 percentage plus 140 percentage is 240 percentage so 240 percentage of si what is that si si is 22 percentage of a solve for a only one equation and one variable solve and you'll get the answer right I hope all of you have followed the equation. I mean, I leave the calculation to you guys. You can do the calculation yourself. But this is the equation. You should be framing this equation while, uh, you know, while you're trying to solve this question. Harisha's, okay, we'll, we'll get back to the discussion later. So solve for this. I mean, do the calculation. See, 240% of 22% or 22% of 240 percentage. Do that calculation. So, 240% percentage of 22% percentage is going to be 44% uh, percentage plus 8.8%. Percentage. I think 52.8% percentage of A. 52.8% percentage of A. You getting me? See, calculation intensive. I mean, either options have to be given, which makes it a little easier to calculate. Or you have to do the complete calculation. 240% percentage of 22%. Percentage. 240% percentage is like... 100 plus 100 plus 40 percentage. So 100 percent of 22 is 22. Another 100 percent of 22 is another 22. 40 percentage of 22. See, uh, 10 percent of 22 is 2.2. 40 percent will be 8.8. 8. So 22 plus 22, 44 plus 8.8. 8. 44 plus 8.8 8 is 52.8. So this becomes 52.8 percentage. 52.8 percentage of A. Now do the calculation. 52.8 percentage minus 23.21 percentage is equal to 23.21 percentage of 400. You get me? So the last step is going to be as follows. I mean, I'm just writing the step directly. 52.8 minus 23.21 percent of A is equal to 23.21 percent of 400. 
what is 52 point minus 23 i mean uh, i'm not sure if you have given me the right numbers but yeah 52.8 minus 23.21 so 52 minus 23 is 29 yeah and 80 minus 21 is uh, 59 so 29.59 29 percentage 29.59 percent of a is equal to 23.21 percentage of 400 Yeah, so final the calculation should be this. Um, I mean, you can cut down a number of steps here, but 23.21 into 400 divided by 29.59. Simplify this and you'll get the answer. I mean, I think the calculation is a little tedious. Otherwise, the question is straight. You just have to, you know, write the right equation, write the correct equation in terms of CI and SI. 23.21 into 400 upon 29.59. So if I have to do an approximate calculation, let's say 23.21 uh, becomes 23, 29 becomes 29.59 becomes 29 or 24 and 30. So that becomes 4 by 5, 4 fifth of 400. It comes out to be 320, approximately 320. I'm not sure, approximately 320. Depending on the options, I'll do, I'll decide if I have to do a better calculation or I can live with this, right? I mean, if three, four options are given to you and only one of them is close to 320, I'll take that as answer. Okay, it should be close to 320. It's like 4 fifth. 23 by 29 is like 4 by 5. 4 fifth of 400 is going to be 320. So approximately 320 is the answer to this question.